Different gear, probably four tens. But guys, if you're thinking about getting a Cummins yourself or any kind of diesel truck in general, really, it's so much, it's so amazing and so, so worth it. So much, just so much power involved in everything. So definitely get one if you're thinking about it. It's so cool. And if you guys are in the area, I want to see more of you guys out there with the diesel trucks. Check that for me. Now one of the things I would do if I went to a manual transmission in this truck, a G56, well, I would definitely have to go for that floor shifter because I mean, I don't want to use this knob anymore. This thing, I don't know, it kind of sucks. I just put like a, I don't know, they probably make fillers for that, just a, a plate. And I noticed where the fog light is actually on the Silverado. That is actually where the, where the interior lighting is. There's actually a button underneath that but on the Silverado on mine, it's obviously just a plate there because, well, there's no reason to have that there because I don't have fog lights on the truck from factory, but that's gonna change. Now, to be honest with you guys, the drive here usually sucks and I'm hitting all the red lights and everything, but it's actually pretty smooth today. I hit the lights at the perfect time and we got here in no time. What a quick drive and it was easy on the transmission. Gotta love it. Hell yeah, bro. Yo, it's actually, it's actually pretty warm out here. It's 59 degrees, 60 degrees outside. It is so warm outside today. This is unbelievable. It's actually pretty humid inside the cab of this truck. That is honestly so crazy. Truck is looking so new and nice. Just check this out. Oh my gosh. Gosh, I just love the, the, the thing that gets to me the most about these trucks is the height running with just 31 inch tires. I just love the heavy duty truck height. That is why I'll always buy a heavy duty. Check that out. I think it's loud. It's definitely old, doesn't have all that emissions crap, it's loud as crap. Yeah, I gotta love this truck so much, man. It is so loud as well, and I just love it. I'm just about to start her up right now. There she goes, exhaust brake just kicked on. Man, this truck sounds so good. Oh my gosh, I can never get over how good this truck sounds, guys. The VGT is pretty loud with the exhaust brake and everything, but other than that, that's all it's about got for it. I do want to swap the turbo here eventually because, well, it's the it's the heart, it's the heart organ of the emission stuff, and you can only get it so loud. And when you're driving, it's not that loud. The exhaust brake is loud, but that's all you got when it comes to the volume, sheer volume of this truck. So check out this shirt. First time I'm wearing the shirt. I bought it the other day in the other video. I don't know, it was a couple days ago, but check it out. It's a pretty cool shirt, man. 717 Armory, just repping it up. 717 area. I hope you guys can hear me over that loud turbo. That thing is loud. Gosh, man, that thing is so loud, bro. Get in this song. Gosh, man, I just love this truck so much. It sounds so good. Oh, man. Gotta get one, man. If you guys are watching this and you love Cummins, get a 6.7. Trust me, you'll love it. it's so nice outside holy cow it's never been this bright in forever it's finally 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 summertime you know it is honestly such a beautiful day outside I can't believe it's finally summertime it's summertime 2018 basically gotta love it man it's beautiful out <laughs> Nice. Oh, 
couldn't ask for a better day. I couldn't ask for a better truck. God, I just love this thing, man. Holy cow, just look at this red and sun. Right there, man. This is honestly such a nice looking truck. There's a good thumbnail and I could smell the I could smell the good cooking food right there at that place, Quaker Steak. But damn, this truck looks so good, bro. Such a nice day to take it out. I'm glad I did. It wasn't that good nice this morning, but now it is and Gosh, man, this is the weekend warrior. This is the daily. I mean, I can daily both. This is just, it's perfect. You know what? Just look how big the truck is compared to all the other cars. And there, right there, there's a Dakota. But look at all these cars. Gosh, looks huge. It's such a sore eye. All right, I thought I was done with your supplies, but I got to get a little bit more. Yeah, man, we just got the year supply of that peanut butter. So addicted to this stuff, man. High protein. Gotta love it. Oh, yeah, guys, we just got a big bag of peanut butter here. Such a beautiful, holy cow. Guy was flying. Blue gorgeous day out today, man. I can't wait until we get those big off-road mud terrain tires on the Cummins. Haven't really picked out anything yet. And then we'll definitely be hitting up some nice off-road spots. I'm just trying to wait till it's nice. And as you can see, it's, it's coming very soon. It's gonna be here very, very shortly. And then I wanna start building that up. I also don't wanna get any salt on it. It's also the worst thing. Never want to get salt in your vehicles, guys. It's always terrible. I don't want to get it on new suspension parts either. So, man, this is actually a heavy bag. The funny story, actually, I just put the stuff inside is that this had a such a strong scent to it. I don't know from the previous owner, I guess. I don't know what was going on. But ever since I cleaned it all up, scrubbed almost every single thing down, it's almost gone. So check how small these tires are. It's a pr proportion of the truck. You can easily see why now on the newest trucks, they now put the 33, 34 inch tires. It's crazy stock on these trucks. I think it's the 4x4 packages or something. But you can see what I have on here, 265 70R17. Even the guy who owned this before me put 33 mud tires on. I think they were 33 10.8s, but these are 31s. I think it's about 10.5 or something. Just a Nexon Rodian all-terrain. Never even heard of this tire. So I'm sure they don't last too long. The dealership threw them on. They probably tried to find something that was cheap to throw on and that's basically what happened here. Very small tires, comfortable ride, and good gas mileage, but a bit too small for me. I mean, just look how small those are back there. These are basically the same, these are the same size, actually. Same exact size that I had on my Silverado stock. So you can only imagine when I had those on. And guys, I was running my stock 17 inch rims and stock tires with a five inch lift on my Silverado for the longest time before I upgraded, so. My friends would always tell me, get a, get new tires and wheels and everything. It didn't really bother me because the square, square wheel wells, being a Chevy, it doesn't really, well, it's it sits so low stock, a Silverado, that it doesn't really make much of a difference, but gosh, man, we got to go bigger here, and I'm glad that everything's looking good. I'm glad that I'm starting with a clean canvas, not a rusted out truck, and then I did all that stuff. You always want to see all the process I took to really get to the truck to this perfect stock condition, because if you look underneath... Even though it is dirty, bear with me. Everything is painted up and looking good. So, if you want to see this whole process happen, just go back in my channel and look at all the old stuff that I did in this truck to get it to really, a, well, the nice point of which it is now. So I'm about to cold start this Cummins. Always take a second or two, maybe not because it's pretty warm outside. But oh, oh yeah. Sound of that 6.7, man. I, so I was I was watching Thoroughbred Diesel. You guys, they do Q&As every single Thursday. And they were saying how the 5.9 is actually a lot louder when it comes to drone in the cab, when it comes to a straight pipe exhaust. I don't think it is that loud and ear deafening for a 6.7, just judging by what they said. So that is my plan. I do want to go with a straight pipe exhaust. No BS on this truck. It's going to be completely turbo back. No other nonsense is going to be involved. And it's going to be great. I think that's what I'm going to be doing first because, well, I just want to move some of that exhaust smell back. And hopefully it would just stop the so much mad vibration in the inside. I do, it does vibrate a lot. It doesn't really bother me that much, but I do want to hear the change in sound. I know it's going to be a lot more throatier, a lot more roar. <laughs>